Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Chicago is temporarily delaying part of its return to in-person learning after the teachers union there threatened to strike over safety concerns during this pandemic. It's all part of a national debate about reopening schools in which the teachers are often caught between their love for the class and fears about their own health and the health of their own students. Meg Oliver has a story. We have to count. Patty Wagner is in her 17th year teaching special ed students in a low-income neighborhood of Chicago. It's her passion. My students are my breath. The veteran teacher is worried about her students' well-being and plans to return to school in person as soon as possible. Why do you want to go back to in-person teaching? It's the classroom. You know, you the remote teaching is was interesting, challenging, and necessary. So I mastered it, right? But I'm in my dining room. That's not my home turf. Chicago no Mayor Lori Lightfoot says the city has spent roughly $100 million on ventilation, need. masks, and safety protocols. But last week, more than 70% of union members voted against returning to the classroom, including preschool teacher Vanessa Saucedo. We had a significant number of families that were affected by death from COVID as well as just entire households that got sick. Corey DeAngelis with the Reason Foundation, a libertarian think tank, has been studying the link between unions and reopening schools. He looked at more than 800 school districts and found the stronger the teachers union, the less likely a school will reopen in person. And COVID-19 risks were not always the only part of the equation. It's not because they're bad people. There's a lot of good people in the teachers union and in the public school system. It's because of the incentives. They get to stay home and retain the same amount of benefits and pay and job security. Demands from teachers unions have become big sticking points in negotiations. In Chicago, the union has raised concerns about remote work requests being denied. And teachers in Los Angeles say being vaccinated isn't safe enough. They want to see COVID rates drop before they return to the classroom. The president of the country's largest teachers union, Becky Pringle, says safety is their top priority. But do you believe teachers unions are becoming scapegoats in this debate to reopen schools? And people are frightened. They're scared. When that happens, when people come from a place of fear, they start to blame other people. With this national debate causing a clear divide in the education community, teachers like Wagner are saying it's the students who are suffering. Both organizations need to come to some kind of settlement that involves safety for children. For CBS This Morning, Meg Oliver. I, I mean, I've said this before. Yeah. My wife's a teacher. Yeah. I, I, I hear about this all day, every day. They, teachers are really worried. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. They want to be safe. They want the kids to be safe. Um, you know, the unions are strong, and they're, they're trying to work for the teachers. But I promise you, every teacher wants to be back in school. I was going to say that. All the yeah. teachers they want to be back They don't want to be in, in their school. dining room. No. In their kitchen teaching. No, or, in, or back in the littlest room in the house where my wife is every day. But, but. They want to be safe because very often they have people at home who are vulnerable and they don't want to bring it back to them. Well said.